So I'll preface this story. For, I always check my fly at the beginning. Sorry. Uh, I, I will preface this story letting everyone know that even though I look really cool, I am like a full-blown curmudgeon. I, I get so much joy out of walking on the sidewalk and seeing someone go too fast and waving. I mean, people can tell you, I wave my finger and I say, too fast. I do that right at them so they see. I, there, are, there are speed limits for a reason. And I just, I, I'm a goody two-shoes, I'll say then. Uh, but I think people should follow the rules. That's why we have them. And, if, and it's not about breaking the rules. It's about changing them to something better if we decide that they're not the right rules. So it's, I care about rules a lot. Um, but I will also preface this by saying that um, I, I guess this is technically an ongoing court case, so I'm not allowed to like uh, say names or whatever, so I won't say this was me, even though that goes against Story Slam, this was me. Um, <laughs> but um, around my neighborhood, I had started noticing a lot of graffiti tagging, and that pisses me off right away. I hate graffiti tagging. I love public art. I'm a huge advocate for murals and public art and understanding that graffiti is a type of mural art. But if you're tagging your name on places that you don't have permission to do so, I get pissed off at that. And about a month, the month and a half ago, I started noticing, because I always notice this stuff, because I'm a curmudgeon, uh, I started like, who is that tagging on that building? <laughs> And, and I see, I'm not even going to say what the tag is because ongoing court case, um, but I see this person had tagged a building that they had no permission doing. And I was like, ugh, whatever. But I started seeing it pop up more. And by more, I mean like not just two, four, we're over 10. And so over the last month, I've just been seeing it. And it's like, I, I walk all around my neighborhood all the time, all the time. And I'm like, one day there's nothing there, the next day there's a tag. And it's like this like cat and mouse of like, I could be seeing this person anywhere on the street, I'm just not seeing them when they're doing the tagging and that really irks me. And I investigate enough because I'm like, is there a camera there? Can I do anything about it? What have you, but there's no cameras. These are all in inconspicuous spaces, but people's property. And, and it wasn't until about two weeks ago that at the back of my parking lot, there's like a, just a little piece of cement right there graffitied right on that fucking wall. It was, it was that guy's tag. And I was like, are you kidding me? And I, I mean, I know enough to know that the things you should do about graffiti is remove it immediately because tagging breeds more tagging. And I know that firsthand because I know that the, where that guy tagged, it was where other people started tagging more. And it's just like, it just evolves into this crazy thing on people's property that it's, they didn't want it there. And so it just really irked me. And then it was on my property. So I luckily had the tools to scrub it off. I bought graffiti uh, remover spray. And I mean, I was soaked because it takes a lot to get off uh, spray paint. And you can still kind of see it a little bit, but I was proud that I got it off there. But more tags were popping up to the point where it was over 30 tags in my regular old walk, which is like a three block radius. Um, I talked to the police department. Um, they don't, I mean, they can care as much as they can care about, but I understand in the grand scheme of things, spray paint on walls isn't that important. But um, a couple weeks ago, uh, someone decided to tag the county administrative building as well as 15 other places in one weekend. And they had them on camera and they sent it around and I, and I was like, oh, they care now, that's really great. I'm gonna send along these 30 pictures that I've taken in my phone of this other tagger. And I got to talk to a different police officer and she was really helpful with trying to say, well, if you see something pop up, let me know immediately and then I can look at cameras and all that stuff. But uh, she knew that I really was pissed off about this. More and more tags are going. so. I'm seeing over 40 tags, and um, just this past Friday, I am going to my shift at a restaurant, which I will keep unnamed, but I'm talking to a customer that's on the porch, and I'm talking to him, and he's facing out on the porch area, and he goes, what is going on? And I turn around, it's that tagger, that exact tag that had been seen over 40 times on, he was putting it in the act right there, and I'm like, oh my God, I got him. He, there he is, I'm seeing him. Like, I didn't think I'd ever meet this person or see this person, much less so soon. And I'm like, I gotta I got follow him. 
And I was like, I gotta do something. I call the police officer that I'm working with. Meanwhile, I'm supposed to be going to my shift. Like, it, it is like three minutes before my shift. I see this person, I'm just like, nope, I'm, I'm going. Um, I don't tell anyone, I'm going, um, I'm following them. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm like so nervous. Like, I don't know like how far to stay away, how inconspicuous I should look. Like, should I like just be like on my phone, but trying to take a picture? I don't know, but like, I'm so nervous. Like, and I call the police officer I'm working with, it. she doesn't pick up. I call the other police officer I know. He's like, well, you can call 911 if you want, but it's a busy, busy time. I'm like, okay, call 911. They're like, oh, I'm like graffiti, whatever. And so I lose them for a second. But I like walk around. I'm supposed to be at my shift. It's 20 minutes after my shift. I find him then again. And the police officer calls me. And I think the guy's starting to get suspicious. And I'm like, oh, God, he, he, could, have, he could have a gun. He could have a knife. I don't know. He has spray paint for sure. I know he has that. But <laughs> he, uh, like the police officer says, oh, I'm where you said you originally were. And I was like, well, I kept going. And I kept following him. And he's like, OK, well, I'm turning around the corner right as I'm like talking to this, the police officer on the phone the guy like he starts coming walking towards me and i've remained like two blocks pretty far away but he knows like i know he's seen me for like five 20 minutes now and he starts coming towards me and like right as that that happens a police officer comes around and like that's where i'm like oh i'm just walking off going to my shift now so i get to my shift having like this huge level of like adrenaline by like this thrill ride of like going after this guy and catching this person who's tagged over 50 places now. I've, I've gotten it, but um, he got caught and I went to my bartending shift and just did the rest of the night. Thank you.